Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be starting a new series showing you how to build your own custom app based on Cisco's WebEx API. Now about two months ago I posted a short video just kind of demoing something like this, but uh, it was really just a broad overview of the whole design process and uh, just kind of uh, lacking overall in any useful details. So this time I want to get more granular and show you step by step how you can build something like this for yourself. In fact, even if you've never coded something before, you should be able to follow along. Now for this project, I'm going to be using JavaScript. And the reason for that is because I wanted to make this something that you could interact with through a web page. Uh, it's a web app and uh, JavaScript is arguably the best choice for that. Now you could use Python for something like this, uh, and I know Python is sort of the go-to language when working with uh, Cisco and programmability, but that would require a framework uh, like Flask or Django, and that introduces a layer of complexity that, at least for this project, is really unnecessary. And in fact, uh, one of my main goals with this series is to uh, simplify the process so that you can kind of see what's going on under the hood, so to speak. So to do that, we're going to do everything in vanilla JavaScript, just plain old JavaScript. So this means no libraries like uh, jQuery. Uh, actually, nobody needs jQuery these days. Uh, but that also means that we're not going to use any dependencies or modules because that would require Node.js. Now, Node.js, if you're not familiar, is a runtime environment for JavaScript. A lot of people think it's a framework or, or even a language or something like this, but, but it's not. It's just a runtime environment that allows you to run JavaScript outside of your browser, uh, which makes it really powerful. Uh, you can build uh, more than just apps. Uh, you can build servers. You can build the entire backend, uh, even standalone applications with JavaScript. Okay, so JavaScript has come a long way over the last 10 years or so. But again, uh, we're not going to use uh, that either uh, because we want to keep things simple and straightforward. That's kind of the goal with this project. Okay, so before we get started, I want to talk about the environment that I'm going to be using for this project. It's pretty simple. We're going to need a text editor, first of all, and for that I'm going to be using uh, VS Code or Visual Studio Code. This was developed by Microsoft. It's free and it has a lot of great features, uh, which you'll see as we work through the project. So you can go to their website here and download that if you want, or you can use your own text editor. It's really up to you, but this is the one that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using a VS Code plugin called Live Server. Now, Live Server is basically a development server that runs locally on your machine. Um, I like to use it because it'll auto reload the page for you whenever you save your file, and uh, that just makes things uh, a little bit easier. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's our setup. We're going to keep it real simple. So let's go ahead and jump into some code, and for that, I'll see you in the next video.